Hey everyone, it's Chelsea. That is actually what I want to talk about today, my name. So it's been a little while since I made a video and I didn't mean to take a break or like step away from it or not want to make videos. I just didn't really think about it. Like life was just happening and I was just going with it. I did actually film one video and I finally got to editing it and it will be up shortly, but this is an important one. For me to put out first, I think, for me, for my channel. Today I want to talk about changing my name. A thing that I talk about a lot in this channel is being your genuine self, being who you truly are, being honest, being truthful, not being a faker. Well, guess what? I haven't been faking who I am, except that I have been faking who I am? Does that even make any sense? I was trying my hardest to just be a human and live until I started to look deeper into what makes me me, things that I identify with. My name is a big part of that. I'm at the point where I realize that I want to be my genuine self and I keep talking about it because I know that I'm not. That's not to say that I'm any different from the videos that you've seen of me. It's not like I changed something drastically. It's not even that I've changed anything, it's just that I'm realizing parts about myself and trying to live that way, genuinely. I mean, I was always okay with being pansexual, but coming out as non-binary has been a process, a big old process, considering that it started out as just like, oh, I'll just keep it in my mind, like, it's okay if people still see me as a girl, it's totally fine people think I'm a girl, she pronouns are fine, to learning more about myself and realizing that that I'm doing this thing where I'm trying to please other people and trying not to make people uncomfortable, trying not to make anything harder for anyone. And then I sat back and thought like what about me? Like yes, it's taking away the anxiety of having to deal with the repercussions of being who I am so that other people can be comfortable, but that's not helping me. I actually get a lot of anxiety thinking about changing my name and knowing that that's what I want to do. I've thought about it for a little while now. I mean like all of today, I've just like been brooding over it, but also like the past year almost, the past year. Wow, wow. Last year we went to Cape Cod and we went to um, Provincetown and that's where I kind of was like, hmm, I think non-binary is what I am. And it's been a whole freaking year. Wow. I've come a long way in certain aspects, but in others I'm still very scared of what is going to come out of it and not just focusing on me and my happiness, but on other people's happiness, I don't want to inconvenience anyone. That's what it comes down to, and guess what? I'm, by doing that, I'm inconveniencing myself and not being my true self. With that being said, I've been thinking about this name for quite a while. A little bit under a year, but close to a year as well. Because I know some non-binary people change their names, some people don't, and it's entirely a personal preference. And for a while, I was really okay with my name, Chelsea, until I really started to think about how I want people to see me, how I, how I want to portray, I guess. And Chelsea is very feminine, in my opinion. So then I started using the name Chell, because I mean, most people call me Chell or Chelsea anyway. So that's what I started using. And I really tried. I've tried to be okay with that for a, a while. And today it kind of got to me where I was like f trying to work on stuff for my YouTube channel, trying to make like a, a banner and um, intro and stuff like that. And I'm just like, Chell is definitely more comfortable than Chelsea, but it still does not feel right. And I have a name in mind that I've been thinking about for a while that I like low-key refer to myself in my own head like when I see this name like there's a street that's named it and every time I pass the street internally I'm just like my name also I should say that if I decide at some point that that's not my name I still know that 
this is the right decision because Chelsea is not my name. I have a lot of conflicting emotions about the whole thing because again, it's gonna be really hard letting people know this and my family, I don't think is gonna take it too well. I want a name that's much more gender neutral and it's a bit more of a masculine name. It's, it's still, it's a neutral name and that's the important thing to me. When people look at me, when people refer to me, I don't want them to think a girl. I want them to just see a human. So I'm very scared of what people are going to say or think or how they're gonna respond to this. Um, I try to remind myself that like people change, they go by names, different names all the time. I'm not legally changing it. If that happens one day that I decide to want to legally change it, then I will. But for now, I'm just want to be called something different. I want to write a different name on a piece of paper and I want that name to signify me. I haven't told my dad that I'm non-binary yet. I kind of told my brother, but I don't actually, I haven't like explained it to him. My girlfriend is obviously very supportive because she's had to deal with similar things. What it comes down to is that I need to like stand up for myself. I need to be strong for myself because if I just keep being passive about everything, it's not gonna get me anywhere. It's not gonna make me happy. And even though this is gonna be hard, this is gonna give me a lot of anxiety. In the long run, I know this is what it's gonna take for me to be truly genuine to myself. So, you can call me Emerson. And obviously, I will be changing like my channel name, my Twitter name, all the, the internet names. And kind of starting a, a new chapter in my life. I hope you'll stick around to see what I have to make because only good things are going to come out of this. I know that for sure. Allowing myself to be myself in every aspect of it is going to be good for me. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.